Welcome to the channel. This is Waga. Um, today we'll be building, or rather, in the next series of videos, we'll be building another app. Um, the app in question fetches data data from an API, uh, the Na the NASA APOD API. Not exactly the NASA APOD API, but something along those lines. And it displays images, and when you click on the images, it takes you to a more details page where you can find out more information about um, the picture that you just clicked on. So for example, the app in question is on your right, on the simulator on your right. So for example, we have, um, we get five images and we have, let me just scroll up. Um, as you can see, we're using a feature builder, so it's sort of lazy loaded. Um, we have a bit of, lazy loading and let's click on this one this one looks nice so when we click on it and give it a minute it shows the photo the date it was taken a bit of information about it and um some information about the the picture and uh, you can see it is clear who is the biggest star in this binary system blah 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 the star is called um fee per si double star and um yeah we could maybe click on another one this one is mirror over germany mirror okay that's an interesting name if we click on it we get um this image the date uh the title at the top and um yeah and all this we're using uh we're using various packages uh, we're using transparent image. Uh, you can see them on the um, on the perspective YAML. Uh, we're using transparent image, um, cached Im network image that stores the images in SQF light on the on locally, so that it doesn't um, stores the images locally, so that we don't have to fetch every time we go over the same images. And of course, there's an inkwell, image inkwell, which we can use to click on the image. You could use it, or I'm guessing you could use some, one of the gesture detectors, but we're using an image inkwell, like so. And yeah. And we're also using, of course, you have to use HTTP to fetch, to actually fetch the, to actually hit the REST API and fetch it. We're only going to use GET since, um, yeah, we're only going to use get since we're not posting any images. We're just uh, getting image from a REST API and displaying it and displaying uh, more information about it when clicked. Um, we also have, if I can go back, and yeah, if we can go back on this, we have um, an action button, an action icon button on the app bar. Uh, which, if we click, uh, will give us five different, five completely different images. Like, if I hit this, it should giving it should give us a couple of a couple more images. And you see the images; they take a bit of time to load. Uh, maybe my internet is not the fastest. We have walking in space, moon over planet Earth. Okay, let's pick, let's pick a nice one. Uh, we display the title on the under the on the card and the picture. Um, we're actually using a stack here, and we can see a berry bowl of Martian spell spherules, whatever the the hell. Okay, I'm guessing it's a tiny spheres. Um, let's click on that and and yeah, that's basically that. There are a few nifty features here and there that. We can go over when we uh, when we are dis dissecting the app and more information about that, and uh, that can be explained as we go around uh, as we go to build. Um, in creating the model that we used, I uh, used a plugin instead of writing, for example, writing all this out. You could just farm this out to be automated. You could automate the the model that you're looking at currently. Um, for that, you would need a plugin. There's a plugin that can, there are actually two plugins I found out about. Previously, on another, when I was working on another project, I had to write all this by hand, but 
essentially all this can be completely automated if you just take the JSON and use the plugin and if you combine the two the JSON and the plugin it will create a model file in this case we called um, the file NASA and all the information about it and even gives you factory methods so basically everything is sorted it saves a lot of time and um, there's a lot of care I remember when I was building uh, an app on the same I was working with a different API I made a mistake somewhere here it had lots of I was using the hack and use API and it had lots of it has lots of entries the children and the list and that I made a tiny error and it took me forever to find it among the, the list of everything that you had to go down on so using this plugin is perhaps the way to go of course I'll explain all this uh, and should you choose to want to do it manually I don't know why you would choose that but it's open it's open if you want to do it manually so that you can better understand and um, how to create the uh, the factory methods and what the factory methods are and uh, I'll explain a bit of that and maybe the serializing and things like that and yeah basically that's the app. Um, we have a few files. It's not a very big app, as you can see. So the routing is essentially that we pop it off the stack or we go to the specific image clicked. So for example, you can do that or you can click on the specific image. It takes a bit of time to load. So yeah, basically that's, that's the entire app. This image is a bit squashed at the top, tiny. But yeah, so basically this this should be a bit shorter than um than I think the the hive app. Um but it'll teach you, it'll ground you and teach you several important and um important lessons that you would use in building apps. It will teach you that there is a bit of routing, there's a bit of um what you you work with images and most of all, you hit a uh, REST API and you show the network image. Those are all very important. Of course, you're using cached network image or the cached network image provider actually from that package. And this one saves the images locally. So it's all, it's all good. And of course, you can also refresh and get, if you don't like the images you get, you could refresh and get another five. So it's, it is I think it's it's pretty good um, and it teaches you all the basics of networking so this is the app and we'll be building it in the next um, next few videos and I hope that I will have you on board and we can complete this and we can go to the next one as always like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have a question or if you have a comment if you have an idea on what i should build next just leave it in the comments i i will read them and get back to them otherwise have a good day